Hey guys, welcome to Steam Burn Stone with me, Banto. So we're gonna check out this game. This will be one of the first time I tried it. I just tried it a little bit before. And we're gonna name this town for Soholt. We're just gonna go over that name. And I think we should go for a medium world. I think that would be pretty good size for us. So now we just have to choose where we wanna start and either we can look at this 2D overview or we can go into 3D. And I kind of like this 3D one a little bit more because I really get a more sense of um, kind of how it looks around here. So I think I want to start pretty close to the water, but I'm kind of thinking, should I start like here or should I start to like this river going here? Or should I maybe go at this place? I kind of want to have a really plant place. We can see that we got grassland here and we also got some, I guess this would be maybe forest or is it more this, is more dense forest here. So maybe we should go for this. Let's see how these look. Grassland, flat, trees, medium, river. And we got um, a lot of coal. Not much copper or iron, but we got some tin. Tons of fishes. Pretty good place. Uh, let's see how this place looks at least. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Let's see if we... Can we... Okay, we can't really... Okay, now we can move around. Oh, okay. That's strange. I can't... Sometimes I couldn't move forward. So, okay, maybe I... Okay, I know why. Um, okay, let's see. How did this look? I think it looks pretty decent. We got a lot of trees, a lot of that. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is the iron. We don't have much iron at this place. And I don't know how important iron is, but it do sounds pretty important. But at the same time, it might be more challenging. So I think I'm gonna go for that. So let's settle down here. I think we should... Um, this would be a pretty good place, I think. Close to some of these stone, we got some water, probably some food here with fishes. Yeah, let's start the game. So we got some people here and uh, I'm gonna go for fixed real-time strategy camera instead. It's way easier to move around. So we're starting out with a few people here around our little wagon here with some resources on that one. And one thing that I noticed the first time I went into this game is that the look of these guys, kinda don't expect them to be like, oh, this is... Roger, he always have this hair. No, that's not the truth. So we can basically go in and we can change the profession. So we see the arch now. We can see if we can find the one that looks like him. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah, there we go. This is a miner. So you see they look the same. So this is more of um, the profession they are. So. so let's see what we can do first. Um, we can start the game. So now we got the game running and at least what I think we want to do is to gather some wood and either we can use this like gather this one, just go get it. Hopefully we have someone who can, okay we do not, I see it. So let's take this guy again and we'll change profession from him to a wood chopper. And he will start to go chop some wood, I'm gonna get another wood chopper actually. So this was the forger, I think we're gonna go for another one at least. And we can choose another thing here, I think it's this one. Remove trees and only major trees within this region. So that's gonna give us a lot of trees to go with. And we wanna be able to work with these raw trees, so we're gonna make something here. Where was it again? I need I know that we need to get some stone as well, so let's get some stone. I only played this a little bit before, so only touch like the surface of this game. So it's gonna come to a point pretty soon where I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. So we will see how that goes. Objects, um, we need a workshop. We need a timbering bench. And with this one, we can actually take the raw wood and make it into lumber. So that's good because we're gonna need it for kind of making other things later on. And I think we want to have a workbench after that one, which we will also need it looks like raw wood and raw stone. So let's have that pretty close to the other one as well. Okay, so it seems like this guy here, what's his profession? Oh, a stonemason. So I guess he's gonna do the stonework in here. That's good. We can see how many resources we need. Four raw wood. And we need six of these raw stones. And as we can see, we need six, but we have one in total left. You can see that this one as well. We need two and we have one for the moment. So we need to get wood and I also at least think that we should 
get a farm going. So let's see what we got. We can grow some carrots, flax, which uh, I don't think it's something you eat. I'm pretty sure it's not. It sounds like something you use for clothing or something. I'm not sure about it. And turnips. Yes, let's go for some turnips. So I guess this, it might be too big. I'm so unused to this, so. And uh, let's see, we should grow something more. Let's grow some more carrots. So they can have like a variety of food. I don't know much about how the food works with this game, but I would guess that they would want to have some different food options. So we're gonna get a farmer, here we go. Hopefully there's gonna be enough with one farmer, I don't know, we will see. So we got some people shoving down, having fun with these trees, I'm going through the ground here. So having a good time with his big axe, chop that tree. And we're getting some stone as well. So we have soon enough of those wood. And let's see if I can figure this thing out um, from the previous time. I tried to make... Um, where was this thing? Storage, I think, no? Tried to make one thing before that I know. Let's see here, objects. I think it was maybe in here, but... So we can see this one, it needs lumber. So, I don't think this is something we should be doing right now, but, uh, I mean, it could be good. Maybe we should make this a fireplace. Raw wood, some raw stone, and 12 blocks of stone something. Whoa, that was big. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have that outside. Fireplace. I would want to have, like, um, a fire outside here, like I have in the stone heart, which is... A game that at least seems pretty similar to this. It got very distinct looks of it, but uh, kind of reminds of this game. So here we can choose mine, construction, construction maybe. Okay, that's more for terrain, utility. Oh, fence, scaffolding. Maybe you need to make your own scaffolding in this game. That's something you did not need to do in uh, Stoneheart. They basically make it on their own, so. Lipstick pens, roads. Let's try to make a road. I don't know if we can do it yet or what it actually requires, but I guess we're gonna find out. I guess they're gonna need maybe some stone for it, depending if it's gonna be a stone road or if it's gonna be an like paved road with uh, earth. I think it's called something like that. Like the stumped road. Let's see here, there should be something, I know that I was trying to make something on a previous place, but it got a bit screwed up. Oh yeah, it's storage. And food, seeds, I created one of these, food barrels. So I want to have this this time as well, I think it's pretty good to have that. So we gotta make sure, since we need lumber for that one, with this one later, we're gonna go inside. I think it was resources, I would guess, and processed material, timber. And here we can actually choose to see how many we have in queue for making. We could be redoing really like maintaining things. So I'm gonna maintain 12 of these. And I don't know if this means that uh, this is the requirement of the level of the carpenter. That is what I guess so. It actually requires some skill to do those things. Let's see how it looks actually when you click track here. Oh, so we can see like how many we have. That's pretty good. I guess the farm is working. I don't know how long this is going to take for them to grow things up. Yeah, let's cut down at bushes. Bush if we can. And what do we got here? A builder and miner. Trader. Stonemason. Trader. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if they can come new people to your town and you can trade with them or what you can do with it. Not sure to be honest. So it was something that I was thinking of. Making him to a forger. I don't know if it is them that forger, farmer, adventurer. I would guess it would be the forger who goes and pick these berry bushes. If that is what it is, it's some red. Oh, there's some reddish thing in it. So I would guess that there are some kind of berry bushes. Oh, that's something, some mineral. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see here, what do we got? Digging mine. Let's try to get this. Got a chicken here as well. I'm not sure how actually domesticate chicken. I don't know what what do we need for. I would guess that Victor is yeah, his infantry. 
I don't know if you actually get like attacked. I, I would guess that you kind of get attacked in this game. I think it's kind of like survival against the enemies as well. So I guess it's pretty good to have him there. But I wonder how we domesticate. I would guess... Didn't we... Wasn't we able to have like... Stop taking the wagon. I think we had something here. Herder, I would guess. Would be the one to domesticate. Or is it someone else? Could be adventure as well, but I think it's a herder. We might need something before we can actually tame chickens, so if you're watching this video and you know how to tame chickens, feel free to post in the comments below and we're gonna try to get him because we might get some eggs and stuff for him, so that will give us some food for our people, because that should, in my opinion, be one of the more, more important things to get food. Shelter is another one. And I guess we should be able to make houses, and I don't know if they're like pre-made houses or if we always make them on our own. So let's see what we got here more. Objects... Don't seem like we have pre-made houses in this game, and I mean that's pretty good. But it's gonna be a rough start I would guess. Like where we're gonna start out with this. Workshops... High quality workbench requires a hammer, stone forge, heat metals, cook bricks. Hmm. Nothing dear, nothing dear. Resources. I think it should be in should be here inside the design here. Construction. Or maybe I think I might know. Hole. Maybe this is it. Let's try and see what this is. Uh not sure. We're just gonna leave it there. What do we more got here? Terrain, walls, flooring, roofing, utility. Okay, let's go for flooring, I would guess. Cobblestone, brown, flat stone, paved stone, smooth timber, timbered floor, timbered tiles. Let's try to go for some smooth timber. And how this is gonna work, I don't know. Like in Stoneheart, they dig down automatically nowadays, but um, I don't know how it's gonna work. It seems like it's gonna go on the surface here, so I would guess that I wanna go for another step before doing this, and that would be to actually dig down so we can actually build it here. So let's dig down like this. And after that, I think we're gonna put some floor there. I think that's kind of the way it it works in this game. Not sure about it, but... Okay, so we need to have... I think it's... Is it the builder? That, no, miner, of course. Iron ore is beyond my skill to mine. Okay. I wonder how we actually cancel these things here. There must be some way to cancel that. I guess we're just gonna let them keep going there, they're soon done there anyway. And after that, they're hopefully gonna go here so we can start working on maybe making a house or something like that. I think this is the way to make the house, so I haven't really watched any like other videos or tutorials how to do this, so I'm just gonna go and uh, see if I'm gonna be successful or if I'm just gonna screw up. I'm in need of a pickaxe. Oh, is a pickaxe. I think it broke, so maybe we need to actually have more tools as well, so... I mean, that's something we wouldn't want to run out of. I'm in need of a pickaxe. Why don't we actually make a pickaxe? It sounds like one of those things that you do not make really early on, and it do sound to me like... Since there were very little iron on this map, that we might get in trouble for that. This other guy seems to have left his uh, pickaxe, so maybe that one broke as well. So how could we make that? Maybe we already screwed up. Feeding through, loom, tanning room, tanning requires a knife, stone elements, strikes and metals on this. I mean, we should be able to make stone tools, I think, because I think there are stone axes, so there should be like stone pickaxes. Stone forge, heat metal. And we just need... Uh, Something down there. I don't know what that is. Add some workbench. I don't know how we actually make tools because if we go inside here, 
We can, we can distract it with see the different tools that uh, you can use here. Strong hammer, solid hammer, and stone hammer. And as I see it says stone hammer, so I think we should be able to make stone pickaxes as well. But how do we do that? Do we do it like inside here like we did with other things? Hand tools and uh, let's see here. Stone pick. Seems like we actually have one stone pick. Let's try to make, maintain two of these in storage. And I guess we can maintain one stone axe and one stone hammer. Yes, you know, just to make sure that we have this. So, breakable, free mass tools, recipe crates, level one stone mason to make this one, it seems, or to use it, I would guess. And we need basic materials for doing this. And I think we should have all those, but where do we actually make these? Do they just go here and make it, or do they have to go to this one? Because I don't see that we actually... It actually says like where we need to make it. Oh, there it sees something. Strong fishing. It says nothing here, so I would guess that you should be able to make it. And the time, but I guess we might need to have a different profession going on here. A blacksmith, maybe? Engineer, builder, not builder, engineer, maybe? I would guess that it would be a blacksmith, though. Wood chopper, stonemason. Or is it the stonemason? Ah, yeah, maybe that's pretty true. Since he will be working with the stone, he's the only one who's actually able to make sure this works out. And I think we should try to use the same people over and over for the same profession because they go up in levels here. But did we get those tools? That is the question. So let's go inside here and see. Stone picks. Let's, it says we have two now, so I think it did make one. Yeah, it's making something now. But why are they not continuing to digging? That's another question. Let's see here, what do we got? One of those were a miner, well, yes, yeah, miner. Get to work. Let's see if it goes to work. How do you expect me to fish? <laughs> I don't get a fishing pole. Um, grab them with your hands. So let's see here if something got screwed up here. I don't know, do we have to remove something here around first, like this one? Remove tree stump. It seems like we are at least getting some crops going on here. So okay, we what do we need for him? Let's go through with these dudes. Yeah, here we go. It's this guy, he's the wood chopper. So I would guess that he would be the one to go and do this thing, but I'm actually not sure if it is. Can we go for an forager? Oh, that's the one, the other one. Wood chopper, a builder maybe? Carpenter? Carpenter, that's good. Okay, so we needed one carpenter. And this guy is a builder, miner, stonemason. Let's remove the forager. Let's make him into an uh, wood chopper. Okay, so we have one guy that's actually building this thing up. But uh, we don't have materials to craft a food crate. That's true. That is why you're supposed to make this thing that I chose before. And this is where you're supposed to make them. So I'm gonna go inside and see here. Why haven't I added that yet? I think I did. Yeah, I do have it here. I don't think that we don't have the materials for making it. Um, here we go. Timber. And timbering bench. And this is the timbering bench. And the reason is because we do not have one that can work with this, I would guess. But I would guess that it would be the carpenter that would be working here, isn't it? I guess we just can go through the other ones, since I do not know. I would guess that it would be a carpenter making this. Maybe it might just be that we do not actually have enough wood. So let's go and check that out. 
and we have tons of wood, so that that shouldn't be the problem. And if we go inside here, we we'll check timber. Oh, 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 I know why. I think I think we need to have an. We have the wrong guy for that work. I think. Oh, he's carpenter level three. I think it says carpenter. Feeling confused now. To make timber, carpenter level two. We got. We need two raw wood. We got fifty-five. Maintain sixteen. Let's try to untrack this and see what happens. Let's try to add it like that. Just whining about not having the materials. You guys, you know, you should go and make this thing instead of standing there. Do we not have access? What is going on here? We got stone axes, we're maintaining them. I don't, see, I, I don't really see the issue. Do you guys see the issue here? Oh, they're hungry. I mean, he's level 3 in carpenters, so he should be fine with making this. The raw wood. I don't know, is the raw wood placed in a weird place or something like that? Timbering bench, and um, I mean this this is the timbering bench. I don't know if there is some bug or what's going on here. I'm gonna remove the construction that one and kinda see what happens. Seems like we're gonna get some turnips soon, so that's pretty good. But yeah guys, if you have any suggestions for how to solve this thing, yeah, feel free free to post it in the comments. I did make this when I tried this game out a little bit before and it worked out. It's something that's screwing up. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's just something. So, guys, thank you for this episode of uh, Timber and Stone, and hope to see you guys soon. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more with Timber and Stone and other games such as Stoneheart, which is pretty similar to this game. So, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great time. Take care.